Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 209 of Photo Critiques. And in this episode, I'm pleased to critique the work of Jacek Buskowski. I hope I pronounced your name right. Jacek sent me in some really cool images. This first one, look at the great detail in this building. This is really incredible detail in the building. It's kind of like, I like the composition, how you have it cut off here. Like, you know, it's cut off a chunk of the building in the sky here. It's really well done only thing I could really see, there's some really dark areas here and there's so much detail in the building that we really want to show off. And let me show you, as I hover over this triangle here, see all the parts that turn blue? That means there's no detail being reproduced there. That is absolute black. So there's no detail there. Now I've often said in these critiques you do want a little bit absolute black it, because it just kind of gives you some depth to the shot and some texture. But in this case, I think there's a little too much. So I would just come down and open up the shadows. And it's not a big adjustment. It's just, just a minor thing. But as you can see, there's before, there's after. There's before, there's after. It gives it more of a golden glow, too. Uh, and it really shows off some of this um, ornate carving that's in this building. It's very interesting. This shot here too is similar as you could see um, as I come over here you can see there's not a lot that's dark but in here where it counts it's it's hard for the camera sensor to reproduce this where you have this really bright area and a really dark area so it's really hard for your camera sensor to discern that and pre-produce it properly so the money part of this shot is the goose's eye or this could be some type of duck but either way it's the eye and uh, because it's got this dark area here and it's being a bit overwhelmed by the light area here we don't have any detail at all so this is a really tough shot to do to begin with but you could try to open up shadows a little bit and you can see it gives us a little more detail in here right in here so we go before and after before after so it gave us some detail now the thing is though the focus isn't super strong we really need to focus on the eye and uh, get the super strong focus on the eye and then it would be a really a winning shot this is a great shot really well done nice catch lights in the eyes really cute cute shot really well done looks like it was an overcast day so light is real flat but really well done I like too that you got down on the level of the child and shot level you didn't shoot down a lot of you know natural instinct is you just you know say smile and you shoot down at the child it never looks right you got down nice and low it's a really nice shot this shot here, I like the processing. It's really well done. I like this this building's really nice thing to photograph. Um, I don't like this fence coming through right here. So I think you're kind of in between. I think you either got to move back, and you get the fence smaller, so it's not so much right here in the foreground. So you're back up a little bit, or you get on the other side of this fence and eliminate it from the shot altogether. I think that is uh, one way to approach the scene. So this is one where you work the scene. You try different things. Try further away, try closer, try in between. This would be the in between shot. And then try it different ways and see which one really, really works. This uh, scene here, I was looking at this before. You know, this is pretty bright here, but I don't think it's totally blown out. Let's see. You can see how there's a little red in there as I hover over that triangle. Not a lot, though. That's not a big deal. The thing with the scene though, it's not really a super attractive scene. I mean, it's not like a beautiful waterfall. It's kind of an overgrown, kind of muddy day. You know, it's just um, it's just a tough scene to reproduce in general and make it look beautiful. So it's kind of hard to do. Here, uh, probably the same scene. Now this one's a little more interesting. We see a little more of what we're dealing with here, a little more of the shot. Half a second I don't think was long enough. I think if you had a tripod and you could have um, gone a little longer, you would probably, you're at F29. Bring your ISO way down uh, as low as it will go and use a neutral density filter and get like a 20 to 30 second exposure. I think it would have helped the water a lot and probably would have made this a lot more compelling of a shot. This is cool. I like the splash of color right here. Uh, it is kind of busy though, you know, all this other color in here. Uh, what you might want to consider doing is do selective color on this shot and you might want to crop it a little bit and get rid of this and just you know crop it just a touch and then so you eliminate some of this in the foreground and then just have the color here and everything else in black and white that's so that's something to consider 
This I like this shot. It's kind of kind of a very graphic. You could see the the light was kind of harsh, but in this case, you use the harsh light to your advantage by showing off detail in the wood and in the axe. So it's a really cool shot. This shot here again, we got kind of harsh light. We have some bad shadows here. Um, the you know the um, you know, prairie dog is kind of you know in harsh light to begin with so we have very bright up here kind of dark down here and you cut them off we don't want to um, generally unless you're doing a headshot you don't want to cut off animals you want to get the entire animal in the shot and now I say generally there's probably exceptions to the rule but you know in, in most cases you want to get the entire animal in the shot and that goes for even if you're photographing butterflies with long antenna you want the entire antenna in the shot you don't want to cut them off so it's a tough one. This is probably in a zoo, so you know it's hard to photograph, uh, you know, these animals. But again, the, the the light wasn't helping you either in this shot. This is a great shot. I love this shot too. Very well done. Uh, nice catch lights in the eye. Nice existing light shot. Very well done. I think that's the last one. Oops. Yep, that's the last one. That's it, Jessica. Thank you very much for sharing your work with us. I really do appreciate it. And everyone, thank you so much for watching all my videos. If you guys have time, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I got all kinds of photography stuff over there. And I'd really appreciate it if you went to YouTube and subscribed to my YouTube channel. And that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.